Hello everybody and welcome to a TeamSpeak 3 tutorial by Captain Thrills. Hello everybody, today we are going to be working on a little project called Extended Client Info. Now this is available in two forms. One, a plugin sample which is available conveniently right here, which basically allows you to see the extended options as most of you probably see in here. You get a few of these little witty bitty things that mean absolutely nothing. And then you have these over here which are a bit more advanced. They also let you see the database ID, the connections, first connected, and of course our favorite, the database. Shit. Alrighty. Now, why would you want this add-on, you say? Well, one, this would be very useful for some of you shop techs out there that need to find TeamSpeak 3 info faster. Two, say for instance you have a troll. All you gotta do is go find a random person in Teams. Oh, look, there it is. That's a random troll named Captain Thrills on my Linux computer. You see this now? If he maybe had one connection, see if I can find one with one connection in here. Oh, look, two connections. Say, for instance, this guy, just for example, is not who he say he is. One, all you would have to do is look at the connections instead of highlighting over the online sense to actually get the connections. Makes it simpler for you and simpler for me. Easier to ban, easier to get rid of. This could also be put into more practical uses for you shop techs out there that need to fill in shop tech orders. Say, for instance, you have somebody missing something and they give you a database ID for whatever reason instead of a unique ID. Boom, you have the database ID right there. Simple. You can also check when they first connect and then they're connected. Makes it a whole lot more fun. Sorta. Maybe. Possible. Hopefully. Alright. You have two options of installation. You can choose the Noobish way, which allows you to download the theme for itself, but then again, you can't use this theme, I mean you can only use this theme instead of your own, and hey, if you're like me, you want to use your own themes, eh? So what you're going to do is, you are going to, let's see, let me find the paste bin, ah, here we go, paste bin. You are going to find this paste bin that I will conveniently paste in the thread below, wherever whichever thread I put it into. Just copy all this and I'm going to show you exactly where to put it. Now, if you're like me, you have a lot of Teens B3 styles. In this case, I had to delete most of them because they were all out of date and did absolutely nothing for me. You are going to navigate to the style that you would love to just add it into. Say, for instance, the default.qss. Um, this one, that's not it. The default.qss. You see this? This has some normal, relatively normal thing. A few things here, things there. Not much really fun, not much fun stuff for us, if you see what I mean. I mean, like, there's so much you can do with this. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to copy this entire paste bin, and overwrite this little piece of crap here, and turn it into a more successfully fun thing. Now, some of you are saying, why the hell should I do this? Who the hell is this guy? What is he thinking? Why am I doing this? Did I not drink my caffeine this morning? Well, one, this can be put to practical use as I explained above, and this can also make you feel like a smarter TeenSpeak 3 user. Captain Thrills out. Enjoy your day, folks, and enjoy the rest of your administrative career at Next Generation Gaming. 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 Gaming.